Hello everyone, thank you to today's first video. We're doing the weekend forecast for today's first video. So as well as on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. We've got a very, very unsettled week to come. Low pressure going to be in control, of course. Initially, all the focus is going to be on Storm Kira, which is going to give us a real blow. Um, starting this afternoon, really, in the far northwest, but particularly tonight and tomorrow, going to be some very, very nasty winds. Uh, gusts could go up to 80 miles an hour around coastal areas, widely 50, 60, 70 mile an hour gusts, well inland tonight and tomorrow as well. So it looks pretty bad, actually. It looks like a nasty old storm mist. And uh, we'll talk you through um, what can be expected uh, with weekend forecast. We'll also talk about, of course, in today's week 10 day video update, which will be uh, with you later on this afternoon. Tonight, we're going to have snow watch because there may be a little bit of winter weather for the early part of next week uh, as well. So very, very busy times at the moment. So I'm going to get on the weekend forecast for you uh, very shortly. Um, just to say that uh, coming up later on, we have got week to 10 day video update. And also, uh, Snowwatch is expected uh, this evening, as long as I've got time to fit it all in. Um, and uh, websites using full weekend forecast are coming from theweatherout.com, alwatech.de. And we're starting with the rare picture at Gaz Webby. So it's not been a bad morning, actually. Sorry, off with a little bit of patchy rain in the far southeast. Most of that's gone into the continent uh, now. Most places dry. A few showers across northern England, Scotland, but a lot of dry weather on offer right now. However, you'll see uh, the first fingers of rain coming in ahead of Storm Kira. Heading into western Scotland and also just into western parts of both Northern and the Republic of Ireland. And um, that's going to be the trend through this afternoon as that rain pushes in across the Atlantic ahead of the main area of low pressure that is uh, going to be um, Kira. So this is the low pressure just here actually. That is Storm Kira. It's still quite a long way away from us at 6 o'clock this evening. But uh, we're all going to be in this west southwest wind uh, during the course of uh, today. And we have got further uh, fingers of rain coming in off the Atlantic ahead of that main area of low pressure. Uh, so for the rest of this afternoon, we're going to find cloud now. Rates of rain pushing in across the west of Scotland and northern Ireland, probably spreading eastwards to other parts of Scotland by this evening. There could be some hill snow. Uh, mixed in with that. For the rest of the country, probably increasing amounts of cloud moving in from the west. And you'll notice the isobars are tightening already, so becoming windier through the afternoon. The wind will be getting up, and um, particularly around western coastal areas, so like southwest Scotland, northwest England. I think we could see gusts going up to gale force by the end of the afternoon. We could be seeing gusts of around 50 miles an hour around those Irish sea coasts. Temperature today relatively mild, ranging uh, from around 7 to 11 degrees. 11 is 52 Fahrenheit. Things get much worse overnight as this deep area of low pressure that is Storm Kira whips itself up and sweeps in from off the Atlantic. You'll notice very, very tightly packed isobars uh, developing across the country tonight so the wind will continue to strengthen through the night it'll be one of those nights where you'll hear the windows uh, panes rattling and winds will be howling around the uh, eaves and yes we're going to see outbreaks of very heavy rain setting in uh, across many parts of the country as well so it turns really wet through Scotland through Northern Ireland through much of Northern England heavy rain also pushing down into the north and west of Wales as well by the end of the night, probably to southwest England. The Midlands, much of south easting, probably dry until morning in those areas, turning windy for all of us. So gale force winds widely uh, through the night, severe gales in places as well, gusts going up to 60 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more around those uh, western and southern coastal areas. Despite that, though, it is going to be a mild night. Temperatures in the south will probably be rising through the night, finishing up at around 10 degrees and pretty mild up in the north too. So any snow should be primarily over the highest ground. And that's the really nasty chart that we've got for tomorrow, for Sunday. This is when storm Kira will be at a worst. So we're going to start off very wet and stormy across many parts of the country. Gale or severe gale force winds will be lashing the country. It's particularly windy across the central swathe of the country through the morning. And those winds will then, those strongest winds will then come further southwards through the afternoon. So widely across England and Wales, we're looking at gusts of wind tomorrow of 50, 60, 70 miles an hour anywhere inland. 
could get uh, those sort of gusts around coastal areas. As I say, we could see gusts going up to 80 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more even uh, in ex very exposed uh, areas. This is enough to cause damage to uh, to um, travel uh, uh, and uh, to power supplies as well. So there is likely to be disruption uh, with this, both um, in terms of uh, transport and uh, travel and also in terms of power supplies. And uh, it is enough to do damage to buildings as well. Heavy rain will be sweeping southwards across the country uh, through the course of the day as well, driven along by those gale to severe gale force winds. Eventually, it will calm down a little bit in the north. It's going to say very windy, but the worst of the winds will moderate a bit in the north as it brightens up and turns more showery. And as that happens, it will go a bit cold as well. So showers probably turn increasingly wintry across northern Scotland by the end of Sunday. Despite all of this, at least it will be mild in the south, with temperatures up to around 13 or 14 degrees. Well, it won't feel that mild in the wind and rain, of course, but technically it will be a very mild day down in the south. In the north, after a very mild start, it will turn a little bit colder. The worst of Storm Kira gets out of the way as we go into Sunday night. And then that leaves us on Monday just with a standard windy and showery day. Winds are coming in from a cold western or northwesterly direction. So Monday is likely to start off bright with sunny spells and mainly dry across southern and east areas. Showers from the word go in the northwest. Those showers will quickly push eastwards on those strong to near gale force west to northwesterly winds. Uh, and turn increasingly wintry as well uh, in the north. So I think we'll see snow coming down to low levels across parts of Scotland during the course of Monday. Wintry showers possible anywhere across northern Britain. Down in the south, we may get a little trough or disturbance pushing across the south, but might bring a more persistent area of rain to central and southern parts of England and Wales. On the northern edge of that, which would be like the high ground of Wales and the Midlands, perhaps, there may be a little bit of sleet or snow mixed in. That's just something that we'll probably uh, discuss a bit in Snow Watch uh, this evening. Further south of that, though, will be primarily just rain. Temperatures in the south, probably around 8 degrees, but cold in the north, only around 3 or 4 degrees. And add on those wintry showers and that strong northwesterly wind, and uh, it will be feeling sub-zero up in the north. Another cold and windy day for Tuesday as well. Again, we've got these west northwesterly winds bringing in these heavy showers. So once more, we're looking at wintry showers in much of the north, the west, the south and the east. That's where we're sheltered from those wintry showers. But even here, because of the strength of the winds, some of those showers could push through during the afternoon. There may be hail, sleet, a few snowflakes mixed in. But in the north, I think we're looking at snow coming down to low levels. There could be accumulations of snow to low levels across Scotland during the course of, uh, during the course of Tuesday. Be a windy day uh, as well, with again winds gusting up to near gale force across northern parts of the country, and a cold day too. Temperatures only ranging from around three to seven degrees. A little bit calmer on Wednesday, as we're under a very very slight transient bump of high pressure. So Wednesday, probably the calmest day of the week. Still quite breezy, but. Um, uh, I think Wednesday is the calmest day of this coming week with uh, more in ways sunny spells. Could be a few sh wintry showers peppering the coast, but most places probably have a dry day on Wednesday too. Could be frost early and late though, and we have, when, with so much rain in the days before, there is definitely potential for icy patches on untreated roads and pavements. Temperatures probably ranging from around 4 to 8 degrees Celsius, not too far from average. Moving through to uh, Thursday, when in comes the next area of low pressure overnight, Wednesday into Thursday, that's pushing uh, across the country and out of the way during the course of Thursday itself. So we start Thursday with cloud and outbreaks of rain across many parts of the country. England and Wales, anyway, have outbreaks of rain. Going further north, though, to the north of northern England, up to Scotland, I think there could be quite a bit of snow mixed in. Uh, across the northern parts of the country, primarily over high ground, but again, there could be covering of snow to low levels across parts of Scotland. All of that rain and snow pushes away into the North Sea during the course of Thursday with brighter skies, a few wintry showers following along behind. Be quite a windy day and a pretty cold day too. Temperatures again ranging from around 3 to 8 degrees Celsius. The onslaught goes on on Friday. The next low pressure is rattling in from off the Atlantic. This one's got a bigger 
warm, sec warm sector with it though. So any snow with this low pressure should primarily be just over the highest ground of Scotland. Otherwise, I think we're really just looking at outbreaks of rain to start Friday. Quite a wet and windy start. That clears out of the way. And then we go back into sunny spells and showers. A little bit milder on Friday with temperatures ranging from around 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. And then into next weekend, look at this, there's no end to it. Low pressure continues to power in from off the Atlantic, bringing further bouts of rain, strong to gale force winds perhaps at times, and also um, just a very, very unsettled feel, and maybe cold enough for a little bit of hill snow up in the north at times as well. This uh, really is a bit of an onslaught type uh, week that we've got coming up this week. Find your time with charts weather outlook. So plenty of dry weather today, but it is going downhill in the west with increasingly strong winds and outbreaks of rain moving into the western part of the country. Tomorrow is a very nasty day. Storm Kira will be at a worse through the course of tomorrow. Widely heavy rain across the country. Severe gales uh, as well. Gusts going up to 80 miles an hour around um, coastal areas. Inland gusts of 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. Enough to cause disruption and damage. Do uh, check out weather warnings for UK Met. We'll cover this in today's second video update uh, of course. Later on it starts to brighten up in the northwest a bit and the rain pushes further southwards and eastwards. Into Monday we're into sort of a sunshine and showers type situation. So winter showers in the north and the west. Probably more persistent area of rain coming in across the south. There is a risk of snow on the northern edge of that. It's going for snow through parts of Wales and the Midlands. More about that on snow watch uh, this evening and then more wintry showers with uh, snow coming down to low levels uh, in the north anyway on tuesday a rather drier day on wednesday probably the calmest day of the week bit on the cold side but uh, mainly dry frost early and late and then we're back into this wet and windy stuff on thursday now this is showing rain pushing across the country during the course of Thursday. It's a little bit more extensive with the snow potential as well here, you'll notice, uh, during Thursday, which is quite interesting. So, uh, again, perhaps more about that uh, later on today in Snow Watch. But rain or snow comes across the country on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're into quite wet weather, heavy rain, Spreads across the country, any snow probably restricted mainly to higher ground, I would have thought then. Uh, that gets out of the way and we're left with wintry showers as we go through into uh, Friday. And uh, let's just flip that over to Friday. There we go. So on uh, Friday, we've got rain coming across the country, any snow restricted mostly to higher ground. Basically, basically we're looking at a mile today on Friday, but with a lot of rain around. Right, there's so much going on, and uh, of course, we'll be back later on with your week's 10 day be update where we will dis discuss um, the impacts or potential impacts of Storm Kira even more. But in summary, for weekend forecast, well, we're starting stormy, we're going to have severe gales, heavy rain lashing the country. Uh, free tonight and into tomorrow. Gusts of wind again between around 50 and 80 miles an hour. Very stormy spell of weather indeed. I mean, it stays really unsettled through the rest of the week. Um, colder with wintry showers uh, through Monday and Tuesday. Slightly drier on Wednesday. Back into more wind and rain for Thursday and Friday. Always a risk of snow on high ground in the north in particular. A massive weekend forecast, definitely one of the more livelier weekend forecasts uh, that we've done for a little while. That's it for weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with your week's ending. We'll come, come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.